We're back with another episode of the Meteorica Mechanic. In our last episode, I built this drill car to show you guys how to collect rocks or scrap stone from the rocks because we needed that for glass to make the vacuum pipes. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up your very first automated crafting system so you can save a lot of time by not having to move pieces between the different chests. So really quickly, in order to build this, what you're going to need is you're going to need a craft bot, of course. You're going to need two large chests. You're going to need four vacuum corner pieces and you need two vacuum pipes. And in order to make those, what you're going to need is interactive. This stuff's under interactive. So to make vacuum pipes and vacuum pipe corners, you're going to need metal too. You're going to need glass and you're going to need circuit boards. Of course, the reason we built the, the drill car was in order to get glass because to make glass blocks, you can find glass blocks in loot chests. So if you did enough looting, you might not actually have to make the drill car. But in case you didn't, in order to make glass, you're going to need sand, and to get sand, you need scrap stone. The only way to get scrap stone in the game is to drill the large rocks that are found around the map. So that's why we built our drill car. We got ourselves a bunch of scrap stone, and then using embers, turned it into glass. So we have our glass. The other pieces you need are circuit boards, which you should have plenty of circuit boards, and metal two. In order to make metal two, you need metal one, which you can get... You should have plenty of metal one if you're killing farm bots because farm bots drop scrap metal and it only takes 15 scrap metal to make a metal one. And then you need embers and you need water. If you do not have a if you do not have an automated watering system like we have over at the farm over there, you can actually craft water using uh, a bucket. So basically all you do is go fill a bucket up with water, put it in your chest or have it in your inventory when you hit this, craft it, you get the bucket back and it turns into a water container. So that's an easy way to get water. So in addition to this, the only other thing you're gonna need is a building a building block of your choice. It doesn't really matter what it is. In this case, I'm gonna be using wood because I have a lot of wood. So let's move this out of the way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started. And if you're enjoying the series, like I said many times before, make sure you hit the like button. It does let me know that you guys are interested in it. And also hit the subscribe button if you ever didn't done so. The majority of people watching my videos are not subscribed. So today hopefully is the day that you'd wanna decide to subscribe to the channel. And I also do stream over on Twitch where we build kind of stuff like this all the time. So link for that is down in the description below. Anyway, let's get back to this. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to make sure you're far enough away from the, the battery thing back here. So that's probably enough space. We could actually probably walk behind that. That should be okay. And you want to place your first chest and then you want to grab the next chest. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you point it here so it's doing this so it's connected to it. I did learn my lesson and a couple people pointed it out. Now it's a little bit off, so let's slide it over a little bit. If you do not connect it, if you're not pointing at the connector piece, it'll actually just place it on the floor so it's not gonna connect it. A couple people did point that out in previous videos, so thank you for that. And it's still off. I don't know if we're actually gonna get this perfect. Eh, that's about as good as it's gonna get. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna put it over here, make sure it looks the same, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your building blocks and you're gonna go four across. And then you're gonna go four across over here and then you're just gonna connect it so it should be four blocks four blocks deep by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're building a four by ten platform ten by four whatever you want to say so that it's perfectly covering these then you're gonna pick up your crafting set your craft bot and you're gonna put the craft bot on top now you want to make sure you want to make sure it's on this side and then Drag it over one block like that. So you want to make sure this is on this side, and then this side's on this side. And you'll, if you know it, you'll know it's lined up right because the these connection points will be directly uh, underneath of one another. So this is on this side. This is on side, that side. Then we're gonna grab our. We'll do one side at a time. So we're gonna grab this, put that one down there, put this one up here. If it's too big, you just keep pressing Q till it goes down. And the way you know it's connected is the lights are lit up. So we know the chests are connected and the, this is connected. Now, right now, whatever's in here, so let's say we have crude oil in here. So if I go up here and got to try to crash on the crude oil, crude oil is not in there right now. Uh, so what we have to do is connect the other side. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Put your corner piece in there, make sure it's facing up. You can actually put this one here like that. And bingo, there it goes, it's good to go. So as you can see right now, it is, I can actually crack, grab the crude oil. So if I take the crude oil, if I take the crude oil right now, it's in the first chest. And under our old system, it would be on the left side. You wouldn't be able to craft it if it was on the right side. So now if I put the crude oil in here, you can see I can still craft it. So what's gonna end up happening is we'll just make whatever, uh, what other, do I need blocks to be made? Um, what do we got? We can make some some of these. So bam, we'll make a couple of those. And 
what they're going to do is they're going to they're pulling the scrap metal. They're actually pulling the scrap metal from the right side, and they're still going to deposit it to the right side because everything goes in a clockwise position. So you're going to start seeing metal one adding up right here. Should get ten more in a second. Bam! There you go. So this is a pretty simple system here. You can definitely expand it by adding more chests. The more chests you add, the uh, the more stuff you can have. So honestly, what you probably want to have will be to have a chest for not every resource, but you could like just se separate them off. So maybe you want to have like chemicals and crude oil in one. Um, if you're making fertilizer, you could just have seeds in one. Normally what we do is we put like building blocks in one and then we'll put our component kits and circuit boards either. Usually we'll have a chest for each, but if you're just starting out, maybe one for each of those. You could put your water resources. So we know that glue comes from the water, uh, water's water. And then you could actually, if you want to put the crude oil in there, have them all in one so that you know they're in the, um, where to find those. So that's a pretty simple system to build right there, but this is gonna make your life so much easier because what you can do now is like, oh, instead of having to move the blocks around, what I can do is I could set up something like this. So I could say, let's say I wanna make, I wanna make glass blocks. And in order to do that, I have to do this. So what I can do is I can turn this on, make it automated. And then once it, once this pops up, so it's gonna keep going. So now we can add glass to it and hit gra glass craft. And it should constantly, as long, yeah, it's going to keep up. So actually, we might need to make this go one more. Let's get 20 in there. I think you have to be one stack ahead. So once that gets to 20, and we do this, bam. And what you're going to see is it's going to keep pulling the resources in the loop. And it should perpetually grab it. I don't know if this is going to go away now because there's no sand. Oh, no, it's uh, it's, pro it's probably okay. But yeah, as you can see, that's what you do. So that way, like if you're doing something around here, you're building something wherever, you're, wherever your base is set up, you can basically just have things craft in an infinite loop so you're not having to worry about constantly moving pieces around or clicking and moving stuff between chests. So that's a very simple automated crafting system. It's probably the first, it's probably the easiest and most compact you can make. Like I said, the most challenging thing is probably getting the glass. And honestly, I had found enough glass to make five of these from looting over the course of, how many days are we in? We're 27 days in, but it's only about, I think that's about like 10 hours. And I might've used glass to make other things, I'm not sure. So you could probably get away with it by just looting. But if you can't, you just make yourself this little simple drill car and you end up uh, with your first automated crafting system. So that's that. And the only other thing that I haven't done on this world yet, since we've, let's go take a quick tour while we're wrapping this up. We have, of course, started at the spawn area, powered up the spaceship, got our, we got ourselves our logbook, so we know where the logbook is. Spaceship is back that way. Uh, then it shows you where the mechanic station is. So we did that. We powered up the, we powered up the mechanic station using the battery from over there. Of course, you put that behind here. Then you can come up here. What that does is it allows you to use the big craft bot where you can make craft bots, cook. We haven't made a cook bot, refine bot, and resource collector. We haven't needed those yet. Those are stuff you don't really, you can you can get away with not needing them early on. They do make things a little bit easier. And we're going to go over here to our farm real quick. All those blocks are crafting. We did make ourselves our farm and we automated the watering system for it pretty simply. So if you haven't seen this before, this is a really simple automated system for watering. I'll put a card up top right now that shows how to build this. This was in a previous episode of oh, the Meteor Mechanic. And basically all it does is it goes across, it waters, it's connected down there to the water. And then if I want to, I can move it over to do the other crops. So pretty simple system. This lets us auto water our crops so we don't have to worry about it. We did upgrade our defenses by putting some metal blocks here instead of wood. And then of course we have this trap up here, which you can access by doing this. So we turn the trap on with the uh, cow waters and just smash it down. It worked pretty well. The only thing we needed to do in order to defend this better would be to put uh, a similar trap on the other two sides because for some reason the bots love to spawn over on this shore and the tote bots will walk across the water, the hay bots will not. So we're gonna, I kept getting attacked from this side so I would probably do that to defend that uh, even better. Uh, like I said, we made the drill car in the last episode which you can use to break rocks like that. If you want to cut down the big trees like this one that say the sledgehammer is too big, you can just put a saw on that drill car, take the saw off, put the drill on top, and use that to cut down the big trees. It's also great for cutting down these trees as well in order to save your hunger and thirst. And at this point, the only thing we haven't done is clear a warehouse. I don't know if I can see one from here. I've showed them in previous episodes. They're the giant buildings that you need a warehouse key to get into. We did get a warehouse. We did get warehouse keys from where did I put them? 
Uh, there's we got two of them. I actually killed two farm bots at this point. So you need those to get in the warehouse. I was gonna do a solo warehouse, but what I realized was the next big update for scrap mechanic is going to be a, a major change to the warehouses. So they're adding a trash bot to the roof, and they're also adding a which is gonna be the first boss. So I guess they're considering farm bots to be not bosses. I guess they're just the beefiest regular enemies. They're going to put the trash bots on the roof. They're going to be bosses. I don't know. They're probably going to drop some kind of new item or something that they didn't mention because they didn't include everything. They're also revamping the entire inside of the warehouses because right now when you go in a warehouse, you can't take anything out of them without blowing stuff up and it becomes really laggy and it's just a pain in the butt to get stuff out of there. So other than the uh, ramp pieces that you can get from the roof, you can't get anything out. They're changing it so that you're going to be able to interact and take anything inside out because there's lots of like resources in there there's lots of building blocks that you can't actually craft right now that may be added in the future but they're in creative so you may have seen some blocks over there and you're like wait those aren't in survival they're actually in the a lot of them are in the warehouses but you can't actually uh craft them right now but you could get them so that update's going to change that and there there's just gonna be tons of changes in that update so what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to wrap up the first season of the mediocre mechanic in this episode i think we're on like episode number 18 we did everything you could possibly do with the exception of a warehouse. And I would do a warehouse if that update wasn't coming, but I'm expecting that update to hopefully come sooner rather than later. What I would rather do is wait till that update happens and then go do a warehouse. Because if I do a warehouse right now and in like in a week, a week, couple weeks or so, or a little bit longer, uh, they drop that update, it's gonna completely change everything. So I think we're gonna have this be the season finale. And what I'm gonna do is I will either start the next season after that big update, or if it looks like it's gonna be further off, what I've been working on with a friend of mine is a hardcore survival mod. If you're interested in that, I did do a poll. It seemed like the majority of the people that voted on it were interested in a hardcore survival mod. I might actually do the second season as a fresh solo start on the hardcore survival mod in a few weeks uh, after we've uh, worked out all the kinks. We're testing that out over on Twitch. Link for that is down in the description below. We've been testing it this week, the last week, and we'll be testing it, probably testing it this week to make some tweaks. The, uh, the short end of it is it makes farming more important. It makes farming harder. It makes resource gathering, um, it's more of a progress. We have trying to put in kind of a progression based system into it because as you can see within 10 hours, I have pretty much everything that you would probably want. I can auto craft stuff. I can break rocks. I could just make a saw and cut down trees. I can auto water my farm over there. I have a spud gun and all I have to do is a warehouse to get the spud shotgun and the, to get the seeds for the spud shotgun, the spun gatling gun, and you're pretty much done. So Right now, you can pretty much do everything if you know what you're doing in a very short amount of time. So what we're trying to do is make it so it feels more progression based. So it, not like artificial grind, but in terms of like the one example would be, as you saw how I just made um, the glass, what we're actually going to make it be is instead of turning, instead of uh, being able to use the scrap stone, instead of being able to, um, oh no, this is actually, let's concrete. So right now, scrap stone can be used to turn into concrete. What we're going to actually make it, because sand is actually in real life, part of concrete. One of the examples is you're going to have to make sand. You're going to break the rocks, get scrap stone. Also, we added scrap stone and some other building blocks to the resource pool. So you can actually get some small amount of them from the uh, from loot crates and from the large ruin chests because there is a finite amount of rocks on the map. But this example would be you would be able to get you'd have to craft the sand and then the the instead of there being scrap stone here, it would actually be sand. So sand would be turned into this. And we've uh, worked on all basically a lot of the building block formulas or recipes, all these things have recipes. Um, right now you'll notice a lot of people don't actually ever make the scrap stuff that's over here. So this little bit thing over here has got the scrap things. We're making it so that these are actually, you actually have to make these in order to make the other stuff. So it's gonna be a progression based system. And I kind of feel like instead of it being a game where within a, a, couple, like a couple weeks to a month at most, casually playing, you can do everything. It's gonna make it more challenging. The raids are gonna be harder because we're having raids on the very first day. No matter what, if you plant a, a single crop, you're going to have raids. We're going to tweak the raid sizes, try to make the raids more difficult. So or, smaller raids will be manageable. But if you want to get crazy and build like 100 crops of like broccoli and pineapple, you're going to get just completely crushed by the uh, the strength of the waves that come. But that's the kind of challenge we want. So you won't have to do that. But if you want to go crazy. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing that, we are testing it over on Twitch. Probably at, when this episode goes live, we'll still be testing it because I expect it to take a couple weeks before we're finished with it. And then we'll... Make sure we push it out. It's actually available. It should be available at the time of this. The current version should be available. So head on over to Twitch. If you want to see what we've changed, you can download it and uh, download the files for it and, and try it out yourself. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, if you made it through the, if you watched every episode of the Meteor Mechanic, I really appreciate it. If you've only watched, if this is the first episode you've watched, you've only watched a couple, I appreciate that as well. 
I think this series was pretty good. I've had a lot of comments from newer players and maybe even some experienced players saying thank you. They've learned something from it. I tried to, in every episode, show something that you could use to uh, make your experience more positive and to uh, help you out. So make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more scrap mechanic videos. We're definitely going to be doing a lot of stuff with the... Uh, I'm going to do a lot of videos probably using the survival hardcore mod and also just without that, just base stuff because I have a lot of other stuff that I want to test out that I've mentioned in other uh, non... Not in videos, not in this series, but in the other scrap mechanic videos. And like I said, I do stream over on Twitch like four to five days a week. You can uh, catch the, you can find the link to that down in the description below. And last but certainly not least, if you want to support the channel, you can uh, even more. You can head on over to my Patreon. Link for that is down in the description below, and become a patron where you can actually determine what we're going to be working on next. What video, what I'm going to do on videos. Maybe do some behind the scenes stuff before I actually publish the video, so you can know what's happening a week before. They're actually pu uh, published. So anyway, thank you for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed this series up to this point, and we will definitely be doing another episode, another s season at some point in the near future, whether it's the hardcore mod or just going and doing a warehouse after the warehouse update. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.